Sixty. <laughs> when'd you when'd you fly a musket? <laughs> All right, we got grands. We got musket and and grands. Congratulations to Ollie making a good run for himself and making it to lose the semis where we go home with third. And we got these guys playing it out for the first. Valiant effort by all the gamers involved. We're it's here. It's 8:45, the last set of the day. Oh, it's okay if you're um if you're young, William. We we have like a bunch of like I don't know I don't know how they were actually were, but they were very young kids. Like I want to say I don't know, 10 years old or less. We had like maybe three of those in the venue playing ultimate. Playing Smash Ultimate. One of them, in fact, uh, eliminated me. So, big ups. Uh, we're doing reverse mains. So, uh, Musket's playing Moth and Nick's playing Fox. Alright. I should have known by Nick being the piss color. The piss, gr the piss player 3. All right, we, get, we got a reverse mains grand finals. Musk coming from losers bracket and Nick and winners on the Fox versus Moth. Hell. Right, this is going to be an interesting one because I have not seen these guys play a reverse mains match before, but already Nick looking strong out of the gate. And he's in winners, so Musgo got to clean up two sets to, uh, to take home, the, to bring home the bait. Nick keeping it clean. Musket showing the cracks in his mark. Oh, big charge up. Charge one for Chapos if you're out there. Um, <laughs> it doesn't pay off at all. Musket's having a hard time closing out this stuff. He just hasn't found a tipper or a down air, and he, he seems to be lost for how to, how to locate the kill confirm. Locate the lamb sauce. He needs that fox sauce right now. Ah! On the verge of a four suck, Nick in, in dominant form. That up air just completely missed because of the tech roll. Really clutch. Ah! Oh, he's off stage. He's down it. Bam. All right, Musket's got two on the board, finally. He's going to bring it back. That's going to do it, Nick, with the first game victory. And Scraddles is leaving the building. Peace out, Scraddles. Thanks for coming. Going into game two. We're going to FD. No neutral start. These guys know what's up. And we got a chain grab going, but Musket. Not that not on that young Moth main. Um, consistency on the zero to death. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs falling out with the dare. Peace out to the Smash Ultimate lads. They're all packing up too. Here we go. 
All right, not, not gonna get anything else of it. Nick trying for a super sick M2K angle, but he's not gonna get it that time. Oh my goodness, that really killed. I didn't see that coming, but I guess FD does have a smaller ceiling than uh, Battlefield. Oh, got a combo side from Nick, but he drops it at the last moment. Now Musket in the corner. Nick, oh! Sick ass smash. That's gonna do it. Musket on his FD counter pick is about to go 2 0 down in the set. Alright, what's Musket got? He's cooking up something, but he forgot the seasoning. He forgot the salt and pepper with that tipper, but he's gonna clean it up because uh, it was well cooked, that combo. Oh, these deal tilts are actually paying off for him now, off stage, but he doesn't clean up the edge guard. Doesn't have that flow chart that Nick has on his mark. But already he's starting to make something happen. Are oh, you from Mount Gambia? Okay, William. Yeah, we actually have um, we actually have another one or two people who are also from Mount Gambia who are part of the scene. Oh, off stage, though, musket. Oh no, that's it. He went too low. He didn't do a rising fair. The absolute madman. And he's gonna go two zero down. Nick about to show musket up his fox. Everyone in the background is confused. I don't know who won. Nick won. He's playing Fox. Good follow up from Nick, but in the SCI way gets him out. Hey! That down smash really just happened. I didn't see that coming. Uh, Nick just looking so strong on the ground, and Musket just knock at that that crispy punishes to um, make up for the fact that he's probably winning neutral a little less than Nick is. Oh, das Boot, das Boot. That really just happened. Oh no, there's the first stop for Nick though. I say, boys, help me get better at the game. Which game? I'm sure no matter what. Oh my god, that punish! I'm sorry, can we just talk about Nick's punish for some? That, that crispy wave shine out of shield on that dash attack? He's playing with fire right now. Ultimate or melee? Of course. We were always there to help you improve in your local scene. Oh. Here we go. The end there it is. The dunk. Duncan dunks. Duncan dogs. Alright, but Musket, it's his last chance to make something happen on, in this reverse mains grand finals. The event isn't reverse mains, but these guys just ended up doing reverse main. Nick looking so strong, he might even go off to finish this. Ah! Oh, that was a shine if he was if he had huge cojones. Oh, the spot is coming out though. It's time for Musket to shine. The chain grab, he's got it unlocked. He's at the pivot grab. 
the re-grab after the up air. And he tries to cash out early with the suppress smash. Hey! I think he might have even got his jump there. Oh, he tried for the SA Nick edge guard. Or he just like go off and fair him. But that's gonna be it. And Nick takes it 3-0 in Grand Finals with the reverse mains. And it's time for me to get my car and pack up the stream. So I'm sure Nick is gonna be here to 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 bounce it up with, with y'all. So um yeah, stay tuned y'all. I'm gonna go get my car. Be back. Be back in like five, hey. Um, and then we'll get the stream packed up. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you with Nick for the time being if you wanna talk to him. But uh, yeah, hey, I'm gonna get my car. All right, peace mm. out guys. Follow Nick on Twitter at SA, SA Nick Smash. Yep, I kept spud dodging and he kept grabbing me, but he's not very good, so it's fine. Thanks to everyone who tuned in, especially those who interacted in the chat. You guys, uh, the uh, the reason we do it, and for our own egos, mostly just for our own egos, nothing to do with you really. I'll see if I can get Musket. Musket, they want to interview the winner. They want to interview the winner. What do you think the Fox did differently against the Moth this time that really made the difference in the Musket versus SA Nick matchup? Um, you just ever shoot down tilt more. I do. Mm. Um, I also use defensive down tilt more. Defensive down tilt more. Yeah, because yeah. you were trying um, to run and grab sometimes. I mean, I also do worse options with Moth. Like more like yeah, you do. Patient, like I spot those way too much. That's yeah. one thing that I do. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of wiped. Wiped? Yep. Yeah, I saw. Well, you've got no excuse. I saw you napping over there. Yeah, that no, that fifteen minute nap helped. Power naps. That I mean, power nap actually well. helped. Um, I want to eat some food. That's what yeah, I want to do. Me too. Um, no, I hope you don't think it's like, oh, oh this guy's like sleep johnning or something, because like. No, no, I don't. No, I yeah, definitely no. don't think that. Um, I know you're tired. One of those days. But, um, I'm not a big fan of johnning in general, you know, usually. Because, I mean, like, most of the times, the Johns are, like, you enter the tournament knowing full well, you know, you've got those limitations, whether you're tired. Like, if I'm tired and I enter a tournament, like, I'm entering that tournament knowing I'm tired, and I can't really blame them, you know. Yeah. And also, like, it just steals the victory away from the victor. Yeah. Um, or it just makes the loser feel worse. It's like, it's just, it's a selfish move. Yeah. I feel like I didn't make any Johns at the Big Cheese, but I had one very large John overhanging the whole performance, which is that I hadn't played that much mm -hmm. in, this, in the month preceding. So I don't know whether, if that hadn't been the case, whether I would have Johned more. I like to think no, but it's possible that yes. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we like to have excuses for when we do badly or when we do well. I think, that, I think at that point, you know, if you lose, you don't really want to, like... I don't think you would have Johned. I mean, you maybe, maybe, maybe to, like... People here, you know, but you wouldn't yeah. be like afterwards, like, yeah, no, nah, I'm just, you know, a bit out of practice. Yeah, see so, me in practice. See me in practice, you I know. I would have said. Um, I'm better than you in practice, I would have said. There's lag on the TV. Get yeah. my money back. Ooh. <laughs> I would have said. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I was, yeah, whatever. I haven't taken the money yet. Ah, uh, yeah, Ollie left. Who is here to get food with us? Anyone? Catherine is. Is, is Ruben still here? I doubt it. He probably left. Damn, it's, probably just, it's probably just um Jack. Just myself. the OG Smash the Gang. OG Smash Gang. Well, Ollie is not getting his third place uh, winnings. All right, fair enough. Well, <sighs> um, that's fine. Maybe I'll go home too. Yeah. Where is there even food that's open? Do you want to get some HJs? Yeah. I already ate that this week. You don't have to. Well, I mean, I've... Okay. That sounds like a much better idea. Yeah. Is it Dumpling King? Is that what it's called? Dumplings are us. That's the one. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Dumplings will make me feel better after I ate them than Hungry Jacks will. Definitely. I hope to go there. Yeah. It's not like it's that like crazy like expensive anyway. It's like because Catherine. Yeah. What do they win? Thirty nine. Damn, yeah. dude. I've made bank this weekend. Oh, he's not getting a six dollars fifty. However, will he survive? He won't. He'll die. Yeah. Thank you. Who's playing? Probably Kath. And 
Caleb. No one else. Caleb? Caleb. Yeah, him, yeah, Caleb. Caleb's a grinder. He definitely is. He played all right today. Have I told you my comparison about between Catherine and Caleb? No. Um, have you seen that Simpsons episode with, like, Frank Grimes? <laughs> Catherine is definitely the Homer Simpson. <laughs> you know you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, one day uh, he's just going to snap and he's going to be... He will like, snap he one will day. Snap one day. I, yeah. yeah. That's why I haven't been coming to tournaments. I don't want to be around when it happens. When it happens yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for just, like, the... Yeah. Some, you know, raw I'll just down smash and dash attack because yeah. I'm Catherine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, like, Peach Falcon's actually... Like, people are like, oh, Falcon's like, oh, man, you know, all Peaches is just... No, Falcon like, wins. Falcon, Falcon's obnoxious. Dude just dashes, and you have to freaking play by his tempo. Kinda. It's, um... And I it's like, somewhat know what you mean. It's, that's why I prefer for... I, like, I actually absolutely hated the Peach Falcon matchup. Why'd you play Martin Grands? We could have had we could have had a nice two-set epic. Hmm? Or oh, at least you could have taken... To be honest with that, at that point, I was just like... Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just done. I just want to, you know, play some, some for fun. Yeah, grands. Um, you know, I've been enjoying it? grands a lot more. I try to like not, I don't know, dude. Like, dude, I tried to throw the last week first set because I just want to play more melee. Dude, after grands last, uh, after after grands last week, you looked like well, last oh, moment, I, you looked like you wanted to fucking hang yourself. I was like, jeez, dude, don't take you know. Yeah, but I went into it with a positive attitude. Positive attitude, yeah. and then you're facing Samus. But unfortunately, <laughs> Ruben just like got hit nine thousand. Like it doesn't. You actually just out outsmart the man nine million times in a row, and it's just like, bloop. Yeah, you hit. Back you get you hit. Boop, boop, boop. For the. I just, I just toss turnips. Like, and if he's like, when he's at that arc where like, grounded, grounded throw can like yeah, reach I him, toss then turnips. it's. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should do that more. Yeah. <laughs> when he's like, when really he's like, work on my turn of <laughs> game. <laughs> when he's like against that character. When he's high, it's just like you don't get to. You don't get to have a perspective on this. You have the I easiest do. matchup against him. People are like, oh man, I'm gonna play people, people are like, man, Peach, Peach Samus is like, it's so on. It's like my so Mario should have just won. I, the thing is with my secondaries, I don't know how to seal kills. Ah. Uh, with Marth, I just like. Yeah. You, obviously, it's harder with Marth, but with Marth, I just like don't do dumb things as much. With Falcon, I'm like, oh, he's at 180. Time to go knee his shield and get grabbed. Or well, something like that. Yeah. I don't know how to play safe. Well, you work on that. Which is what happened in the set. Because I, I was winning, clearly, with both my Mario and my Falcon. I think in the, Mar the Mario thing, you were, like, ahead, then you just SD'd. Yeah. Can I get a comment on Rocket League as an eSport? Dude, that one, that one... To be honest, it looked like... The one, like... The one drunk um, game I played at Eddie's, it, um... It seemed fun. It looks really fun, actually. It looks really fun. I think of all the games that I would play, other than Melee, Rocket League might be the one. Mm. It just because it, it's so intuitive. You just look at it, you're like, you're a car, you play soccer in it. Yeah. That's cool. It's not like, LOL, LOL and Dota make no fucking sense to me. They're just like, there's numbers and shit happening. Do you know about Donut's um, skill at the game? Yeah, he's a he's sponsored a, player almost. He's very good at it. He, um... Yeah. I also watched a lot of Mango playing Rocket League. And that was the one, like, Mango side game. Like, obviously, I like him doing his, like, single-player crap a bit. Mm -hmm. But of all of his, like, side esports, is, I think uh, Rocket League was the one that was most watchable. It's so, like, intuitive to the viewer. I think that's important in, in a game. Like, Melee, somewhat intuitive to the viewer. Fighting games, yeah. intuitive to the viewer. This one guy's beating up the other guy, you know? Yeah. You get to, like, you get a certain point removed from what's actually understandable to the layman with like lol and like dota those games make no sense whatsoever you see a bunch of or starcraft a bunch even. of like visual effects going forth and yeah there's no real feedback on what you have to know like oh this 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 like visual when it connects is going to do this effect um yeah it's mine yeah nice well we solved that mystery yeah i mean I'm, i am gonna take it home with me see take it now <laughs> It's got my jumper that way, in that it. That way you won't miss it again. It's also got my my um, entry pass or whatever for the big cheese. Yeah, I've still got one in mine as well. Lord Voldemort. Want, um, Lord Voldemort, anyone? I have, ooh. That's me. See, I have the yellow one because stuff. You got to suck my son in the chat after a stellar run at the uh, most recent Couch Warriors ran bet. Yeah. The big one. The big cheese, even, you might say. But you wouldn't. We have Bloggy in the chat. A legend. He did really well at um, Big Cheese. He, played, he did. played quite well. I taught him today about how legend invincibility works. He was he was like, I don't know, he was wrong. Have you seen that? But um, we're all wrong sometimes. And the important thing is we can grow from being wrong 
So it's, you know, um, seeing the light and the truth of our Lord Falco on the ledge. Have you seen that Kalen shaved his mustache? I have not seen that. He looks like like Blo I, I, he looks like Bloggity's older brother now. Bloggity and Kalen do look similar. Yes, yeah. I can see the, the mustache. Yeah. God. To me, also, it does a few. stacks. Oof. I'm gonna make it, it rain. I'm gonna make it rain at the Hungry Jacks. All of those unsuspecting drunk people. To be honest, Dude, Hungry Jacks on a Sunday night. It's not a place you want to be. No. Last time we were there, it was. Ooh. Last time I was there, I got spat on. Yeah, and, and <laughs> By a I went with MSJ later, and it was just like the the right kind of people do not congregate at Hungry Jacks on a Sunday night. Dude, I fucking lost it there. Now <laughs> you didn't lose it. You beat him up. No. What did you do then? I started like going like. Started. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm so you got I'm away gonna, with it. Is what you're trying to say? Huh? You let him just spit on you, and you didn't do anything. That you see, the thing <laughs> is that situation there is actually so hard for me because like, what? let's say, okay, so it's let's like, say, go let's to the say, gym, dude. Bulk say, off a bit. No, You'll let's say, prepared. let's say I attack him. Let's say I attack him, right? <laughs> let's say I do kick his ass. He, he was pretty thin looking. You should you know? have spat on him. Yeah. Um, you should have kicked him in the ball. You should have sack tapped him. Kick, kick the shit out of him. Get an assault <laughs> charge. No, don't do it. Because some fucking. You should have grabbed his burger and ran. He didn't have a burger. You're just sitting there. Because they, they just let homeless people in. Well, you should... Because... You should. Whatever. It's a tough No, I just... I just I you're started, right. It's I started yelling the, at him. The pendulum has swung too far in favour of homeless people and, my, and marginalised people's rights. He doesn't care if he gets an assault charge. It's hard to be a white guy with money now. He doesn't care if he goes to jail. <laughs> Jail's probably a step up. <laughs> he, gets, he gets an actual roof over his head. Yeah. I don't want to go to jail. Wow. That's... Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> all. <laughs> I don't want, you know. He's probably well, trying to go to, he's probably like institutionalized. I get an assault he charge. He loves jail. I get an assault charge. That's a, you know, bad mark on um, when employers. Exactly. Think he cares. That's why that affects my future. Yeah, what are you going to say? Oh, this homeless he has no guy. You have no future. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, so yeah, it's, I mean, uh, like. You should I see the other guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I didn't do anything. I was just, he was like, probably just saw this guy. He didn't, he didn't have food. He just saw this guy, um. Eating food, and he was like, "Screw that guy." Yeah, you know, he, he was like, when the like store, I mean, when like one of the um employees was escorting him out, he's like, "Can I stay? Can I stay? I'll, I'll buy something. I'll buy some fries." Huh? Uh, yes. That one. That one. Oh, I thought you meant the thick one. Oh, I helped. You did. I didn't. Actually hindered the process. Hindered the process. Well, what matters is you try. People generally are, you know, they can see someone making concerted effort to help. Then that's true, chat. Mm. It's the thought that counts in this in this particular time of year. Especially. Unless you're really incompetent, then you know. That's that's something uh, I heard a lady say today. She said to another person, "What are you going to buy for your parents for Christmas?" And the the girl said, "I'm not sure." And then the old lady said, "Well, it's the thought that counts. So don't forget that. It's not about the money you spend." It's a little bit about the money you spend. No, it's a thought. I feel like it maybe with your family. Dude. It depends maybe on with it, your family. It, it, Mr. It I'm better than homeless people. It totally that's <laughs> much money. <laughs> it totally depends on how. Like the older the, the older the person is, the less it's important. Like no, when it's just, like, what do you mean? Make something, huh? dude. Be creative. Make something. Give them an experience. Experience. Give, give them a give them a fright. Give a, just give them a free fright to just scare them. See that, that that's the um <laughs> that's the that's the plan for like <laughs> Halloween or April Fools. Just you know. Yeah. Just um, dude, just go table diving. Find enough, scrounge up some stuff, some foods. Yeah, you know, just something um, that you can like won't go off really quickly. No, just get some red eye, some red dye. Just put in the bath. Fill up a bath. Put some red eye, uh, red, red dye in it, and then just you know sit in there. Look like you know you've slit your wrists. Bam. <laughs> That's good, That's, man. Yeah. Pretend you commit suicide. Exactly. That's then, then when, then when they, then when they're like <laughs> screaming, you're like April Fool. <laughs> <laughs> April <laughs> Fools gotcha. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Cut cut the stream. Cut the stream on that one, Musket. <laughs>